Hi traders, this is Cynthia of Day Trade Forex bringing you a follow up video for my new simple neon breakout system. And in this video, I'm going to show you some other trading instruments you can trade besides just currency pairs. And often, the other trading instruments I'm going to show you have specific trading hours that are better than other trading hours, and they have to do with. The, of course opening of Tokyo session or the London session or the New York session but also these trading instruments respond very well to the US stock market open which is at 9:30 a.m. Eastern so I'm going to show you the best trading times for these trading instruments and if it helps you then I'm very happy for that and it's really easy to see the entries exits and the momentum in using this trading system. So first of all, let's take a look at the gold chart. And I like trading gold in a one hour chart better than any other time frame because it eliminates a lot of the whipsaw and choppiness that I see in daily and four hour chart and you can get a much better entry. I don't think trading it in a lower time frame gives you too much more advantage although you could go down to a 30 minute chart but we're looking at a one hour chart and we can see very clearly over here that at 1 a.m. Eastern is the beginning of the interest for gold and then you have two candles of pullback and then this is 4 a.m. and renewed interest to the downside but you can see the momentum is very very small not strong at all so there's no real interest in gold although you can get positioned but here's the candle at 7 a.m. it seems like every morning at 7 a.m. this is when a lot of interest shows for gold if you're a US trader who wants to trade the New York open this is the New York open at 7 a.m. Eastern and you can look for a trade opportunity right at 7 a.m. Be prepared in the one hour chart. You can already tell looking back hours already that the trend is down. So you know all of the trend lines are red. So you know you're only going to be looking for a sell opportunity. And at 7 a.m. you could have placed your trade. If you had placed your trade at 1 a.m. or 4 a.m., earlier if you're a London trader you could have put your take profit for approximately 100 pips because that seems to be how it moves every morning between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. after the US stock market opens so look for buy or sell opportunities at 7 a.m. set your take profit for approximately 100 pips and you can make it a set and forget trading system and just have your stop loss be at these dots follow these dots if you can look at your charts once an hour and just move your stop loss eventually you're just going to get stopped out if you can't be at your computer to manage this trade but I think you're very safe in placing your order entry right at 7 a.m. and put your take profit at 100 pips and you can do a trailing stop if you want to but I think that for a hundred pip target it seems to happen every morning at 7 a.m. here it is again 7 a.m. and the target could have been 100 pips there it is right there no problem at all 100 pips so this is gold in a one hour chart so I highly recommend it the next trading instrument that works really well right around the US stock market open and you can get in a little bit earlier you can see here that at 7:30 a.m. Eastern there's interest starting to perk up for Brent crude oil and here was a 4 a.m. entry but there's no real interest there's no momentum whatsoever Real interest started appearing around 7.30 a.m. and at 9 a.m. Eastern is when the price really spiked up. This is 9 a.m. Eastern 
that's 30 minutes before the US stock market opens and then it pushes up very very nicely you've had this long buy trend for a long time many many hours ahead of time so you know you're only going to be looking for a buy trade this is a spike in momentum here so interest really perked up at 9 a.m. Eastern and you take 16 pips profit which is actually because of the way they count the pips or the points it's actually equivalent to 160 pips so it moves really nicely starting at 9 a.m. but if you're up a little earlier you can get positioned about an hour to an hour and a half earlier and you can actually just set your take profit again at at 10 pips which is equivalent to 100 pips you have to figure out the pip value it's different for some of these CFDs the next instrument is Bitcoin which I think is best traded in a four hour chart you can see a nice downtrend here but Bitcoin tends to be a little volatile and it's harder to trade than most other instruments it doesn't always trend very smoothly this year it hasn't been trending really big long trends like it did last year but it could trend really well at any time you just don't know so I think it's better to play it in a four hour chart and if your broker offers Bitcoin that's great but don't trade it if they're only giving you one to one leverage or one to two leverage I've seen it like that with some brokers and I just think it's you need way more leverage than that to trade Bitcoin is so volatile but that's the reason why they restrict and limit the leverage is because it is so volatile so it's not easy to trade so if your broker offers it and you're interested you can trade it if they give you better leverage but I think there's other instruments that are a little bit better to trade and I'm going to show you the next one which is I think is probably the best one to trade and that is the DAX the DAX index and it's actually the German 30 index which is the top 30 for the German stock market and I've identified some of the best trading times for this trading system and they happen to be 9 a.m. Eastern believe it or not one half hour before the US stock market opens so the DAX the top 30 stocks for the German stock market respond very well and react very well to the US stock market so look for trade opportunities around 9 a.m. Eastern in a four hour chart and again at 1 a.m. Eastern it happens over and over again 9 a.m. 1 a.m. and this 9 a.m. move to the top here where I could take profit is 281 pips the move from 1 a.m. to this take profit area is 200 pips so you could trade this if you can be awake during these times you could actually just set your take profit for say 150 to 200 pips and go to bed make sure that your stop is right here on these dots which is wide enough for any kind of retracement or spike in price so check out the DAX I know Europeans love to trade the DAX and Americans can get on on the action also if they can be awake at 9 a.m. and that's easy for most Americans and 1 a.m. is a little harder but the Europeans love it at 1 a.m. and look at how well it trades so go ahead and take a look at the DAX and it's really easy to trade in the four hour chart and you can actually take profit any place along the way when you have a little bit of a pullback just take some partial profit and I think you'll enjoy trading the DAX very much because it trends so well most of the time the next index I want to show you is the Japan index these are the top stocks for the Japan market it trades at the Tokyo open and on my chart I had to put in the period separator to show me 5 p.m. Eastern which is when the Tokyo session opens the problem with trading the Japan index you cannot in some brokers trade right at 5 p.m. probably Japanese traders with their Japanese brokerages can trade right at 5 p.m. because price often explodes right around 5 p.m. at the Tokyo 
open but I'm using FX choice and they don't allow the trade or the price to move until approximately 6.30 p.m. Eastern. Now you have to watch out for the big gap opens. Sometimes this tends to open with a big gap at 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you see that, just don't even think about looking for a trade opportunity. It's just not going to happen. This is 5 p.m. and this, for my broker anyway, is not tradable, but at 6.30, this is tradable. It becomes tradable. The price action becomes active again. And this is a perfect buy entry. And this would have been my sell when the momentum dropped off down to practically nothing. So that's a 68 pip move. And if you do this, it's really nice trading hours for US traders or any North American trader, Canada, America or Mexico. This is really a nice time to trade and just get in your trade, stay in for a couple hours and then close it out with your profits and go to bed and don't leave any trade open because it doesn't always do that well for many, many hours. Here's another time when the trade does manage to go very well, but that's 4 a.m. Eastern. So sometimes right around the London open you can for London traders London session traders you can get a great entry right around the time of the London session and here's 5 p.m. Eastern again a big gap open and just becomes so untradeable but it becomes very tradable at 9 p.m. Eastern so that's interesting bagged 120 pips in just a couple of hours and put that in your bank and go to bed and here's another 5 p.m. Eastern Tokyo Open and the trade becomes an opportunity at 7.30 p.m. for 140 pips. Look at how the momentum dies off when you see that combined with the change of color in the candle. Just get out early and go to bed. And here's another 7.30 p.m. with a 200 pip move. This was a perfect move. No backlash, no whipsaw, no retracement, just a perfect smooth move up. It doesn't always happen that way, but sometimes it does because there's a lot of Japanese traders trading this and an entire nation is trading this. <laughs> so there's a lot of momentum behind this index. And that's it for the Japanese index. The next one is the US 500 index and that is equivalent to the US S&P 500 which are the top 500 US stocks. I look for a trade opportunity around 8 or 8.30 a.m. which is an hour to an hour and a half before I know that the US stock market is going to open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. So I get positioned before it because Sometimes by the time the U.S. stock market opens, most of the move is already over, and that's very true for what happened right here. And that was a 125 pip move before momentum started to drop off. Now we'll look at the U.S. tech index, and this is very frequently just such a big explosive mover at 9.30 when the US stock market opens, just like with the US 500 index, the US tech index, which is the NASDAQ index. It's the equivalent to the US NASDAQ, all the tech stocks. So I look for trade opportunities starting about 9 a.m. and at 9.30 a.m. the big explosion usually happens and that was a very quick 30 pips. So. Here's another trade opportunity. Going back in time, looking at 7.30 was a very early entry and you can see the big long trend. So you know that when the stock market opens that already people are positioned and they've already purchased, they've already gone long. And at 7.30 a.m. you get a green arrow. So that's your signal to enter long. And then right here is when the U.S. stock market actually opened. This is 9.30 a.m., but the move is already over. It already started two hours early, so you really have to look for trade setups about two hours before the U.S. stock market opened. 
Here's an example of when the move actually started right at 9.30 a.m. when the U.S. stock market opened. So the move wasn't too much. If you wait until 9.30, it just doesn't have a lot of oomph sometimes. So you never know. You just really never know. Sometimes it starts early at 7.30, sometimes 8, sometimes 9, sometimes 9.30 and sometimes the move is really big and sometimes it isn't there's just no way of knowing now here these are some nice trades with sell opportunities let's see this was at 7 15 a.m we're in a 15 minute chart which i like to play the u.s tech index on a 15 minute chart it was a little bit of an early entry but paid off after the little bit of a retracement. This is 8 a.m., which you had another sell entry that you could have taken. So you could have been in two trades, two positions, and by the time it reaches the bottom here and the momentum starts to pull, and it goes into some kind of crazy little long tail whipsaw here, consolidation, it's just good to get in and get out sometimes you know you just never know you have to play it by ear but if you had gotten in that's like 33 35 pips so possibly you could have gotten between 25 and 35 pips out of this move between here and here was another 20 pips so that's a total of 55 pips between two trade positions and but sometimes it gets a little crazy like this but at least you can see that the trend is still down all of the trend lines are still red but these tails they're kind of long so often it's just better if you see the momentum start to change you can see the volatility bars have turned green and the yellow signal line is pulling back that tells you momentum is drying up and you may as well just take your pips home. When you're dealing with the U.S. stock market open, sometimes the move is short and very explosive. Sometimes it's smoother and longer. You never know. But your clue to get out is when the momentum starts drying up. And you can see that here in the volatility bars. And definitely you would exit all trades whenever the yellow signal line crosses the red zero line and the volatility bar pushes up like this did above the red zero line. Definitely get out. That's even a late exit because you're giving back a lot of pips. But then, interestingly enough, it pushes down really strongly again. So it's, it's a little bit on the volatile side. So it takes some skill to trade the US tech index. The US 500 index seems to trend just a little bit better. It explodes, but it doesn't have those long tails so much and it trends just a little bit better so it might be a little easier to trade pretty much the same principle get in around 7 30 8 8 30 and try and be positioned according to the long trend before the, the u.s stock market opens at 9 30 a.m so those are some of the other instruments you can trade with this trading system and i think that if you're looking for instruments to trade outside of the London session, most of these do well during the U.S. session, especially starting right around 7 a.m. and gold especially at 7 a.m. So I hope this gives you some trading tips and this trading system makes it so easy to see the entries, the exits, and the retracement trades for multiple trade positions going in the major trend direction. So if you're taking notes, you can keep watching this video if you decide to go play with these instruments with your broker. Otherwise, my broker, FX Choice, offers all of these, and I've been trading with them now for many, many years, and they offer 200 to 1 leverage and hedging and no FIFO nonsense, and so I highly recommend them, and I always provide a link for signing up underneath me as your introducing broker if you're so inclined to do that and i like to give special help to people who do that so you can always reach out to me via email and i respond as fast as possible and usually it's within 12 hours most often it's much quicker than that 
And if you purchase this, you'll receive a one-click installation program. So with one click, you'll have it installed into your MT4 platform and you'll receive a PDF that has a lot of training videos, screenshots and explanations. And again, just always feel free to send me an email if you have questions or if you need support once you've purchased the trading system. So if you decide to purchase, the buy button is down below and I look forward to helping you in the future with any of your support questions. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and happy trading to you.